So I wanted to give you guys some quick tips and tricks for spray technique. There's a lot of videos online that, you know, you can get a lot of different misinformation and stuff like that. And one guy's telling you to do it one way, another guy's telling you another way. I want to make it real simple, real quick, so that you guys have a quick guide for when you're getting ready to spray your car. The main thing that you're gonna find is every video on every different painting channel is gonna tell you something different about how to set up your spray gun. The main thing that I want you to focus on is make sure that the material spun all the way out, make sure the fan is all the way out, and that your air pressure is somewhere in the neck of the woods of 20 to 30 PSI, right? Every spray gun is going to be different. Every material that you're spraying is going to be different. So someone trying to tell you that 30 PSI and two turns in on the fan is the setup is just trying to get you to, you know, believe them for whatever reason. There's no one size fits all for any of this stuff. And that's the one thing I want you guys to keep in mind. In general, we wanna make sure that the spray gun is around four to six inches off the panel, right? And again, it varies on spray gun. So what you're gonna always have to do is get acquainted and acclimated with whatever gun you're using. The main thing is that whatever you're spraying is wetting out real nice and uniform, and you're not getting dry over spray all over the rest of the car, right? We wanna focus on having the gun nice and straight on the panel. We don't want it tilted off to the side like this, and we don't want an angle on the gun either. We want the air horns to be at, you know, 90 degrees with the panel. Roughly four to six inches off the surface, and in the wise words of the ever great John Kosmoski, you need to think like a robot, right? If you want a really long drawn out explanation on how to spray, watch the old school John Kosmoski videos because those are the best, honestly. In general, anywhere from 50 to up to 90% overlap on your spray pattern, right? And again, it depends on the material, it depends on the spray gun, it depends on your application speed. There's a lot of variance and the best thing you can do is pick up the gun and start trying.